Mindfulness is now a very well-known term, and it is, of course, an ancient way of being, a natural way of being, a way of being that everyone knows directly. Some people just happen to exist in that mode more often than others. But we've all been drawn into a mindful state. We all know this. We can all relate to it. We can all, of course, be mindful now. And what does it mean? One of the kind of most well-known people to speak about mindfulness is John Kabat-Zinn, who defined it as the awareness that emerges when you pay attention on purpose and non-judgmentally to the unfolding of experience in the present moment. The awareness that emerges when you pay attention, and then I think it's worth highlighting the on purpose and non-judgmentally to the unfolding of experience in the present moment. On purpose. It's an intentional way of being. It's a way of being purposefully receptive to what is occurring and actively directive in our own behavior and expression. And it's non-judgmental, of course. It is a state of accepting things as they occur. A total state of non-resistance. Because, of course, as we can all recognize, what is already is. What has come to be is so. <laughs> and so resistance is really insane. Now, of course, you can't misinterpret resistance here. There's a, a wonderful thing when people resist, you know, social circumstances, for example. But we're talking about the specific present moment. A person can engage in a civil rights movement in a profound resistance to the status quo while in a state of non-resistance, while in a state of accepting the conditions of the moment of their lives. The question then becomes, in any moment, in this moment, there are many possible things that you could become aware of in that purposeful, non-judgmental way. You could become aware of environmental stimuli, and you could highlight particular types of environmental stimuli, right? Like in a moment that you're eating a meal, it's the taste sensation that you are most aware of if indeed you're practicing mindfulness. In a moment of listening to somebody sing to you, the auditory sensation is what is most pronounced in your consciousness, is what you are being present to. Now, I would suggest there should be one more word added into the definition of mindfulness, which I'm sure is part of other iterations of the definition of mindfulness, and that word is, it's intuitive. It is an intuitive way of being. So it's purposeful in that it is intentional. It is non-judgmental in that it is a, an accepting way of being where conditions arise, and as they arise, they are accepted and then from that place a person can then effectively change them when necessary. And then to say that it is also an intuitive way of being, I suggest that this means the intuitive aspect of mindfulness is that it requires a direct knowing, an intuition of what in the present moment to be mostly aware of to what is the most relevant data of your experience to attend to. So obviously when you're eating, there's much more happening than eating. There are the tactile sensations of sitting on the chair and of your feet against the ground and of sounds and, and yet 
there's this intuitive highlighting of the experience of eating. This is kind of what is meant by one-pointedness. There's a concentration onto a particular aspect of experience. There are moments when we get into receptive states where we are not necessarily differentiating between the aspects of experience and that we experience it all as is evenly in the way that you can look with a soft gaze at a night sky and listen to the sounds of nature and feel the coldness against your skin and the warmth of someone laying next to you and there's a way that we can have this soft gaze of experience where just it's all just kind of streaming into us and um, we're sort of equally conscious of it all and then there are times when when consciousness concentrates in a particular aspect of experience like eating while you're eating or listening while you're listening or whatever it may be as we pick that out and it requires an intuition to discern what is the most relevant aspect of experience right now in order to achieve the goal I'm trying to achieve, in order to extract the joy in life, in order to make a connection with somebody, in order to fulfill whatever the intention of this intentional way of being is, there are things in the environment that we are particularly sensitive and responsive to. And it requires an intuition to recognize this relevant aspect of experience. Thank you for listening to my perspective.